Hello, I am going to show you how to make a counting rope like I saw in a wonderful workshop that I went to with Kim Sutton this past weekend. And you can see I have a couple different examples of counting ropes here. This one has 20 beads on it. Uh, this is a, has 10 on it. And what's so nice about these counting ropes is that the beads slide so nicely. You can so nicely do counting, addition and subtraction by looking at the beads that you have on the string, looking at the different colors. Um, I've tried a couple different things with the materials. First of all, Kim used pony beads, which seems to work really well. Um, she had white elastic. I have tried it using, I didn't have any white elastic, so I actually tried it using some clear elastic like you would do with um, some necklaces, that sort of thing. It's kind of nice because it's stretchy, yet it's not going to break, and the beads do slide really nicely across the elastic. That worked well. I also decided to go ahead and try just some real thin cording, and the cording seems to work well, well too. Uh, it's not stretchy, but it does seem to work well to hold the beads and just have them slide across. So just real quickly, to make a counting rope, all you need are some pony beads, two colors, and uh, I, in order to make this rope, the one with 10 beads, I got about uh, two feet of cording, just a little bit over two feet. And what I'm gonna do to start with is find the middle of that cording and then anchor it just with a can. I just pulled a can out of my pantry. And all you have to do is I leave about enough space that you'd picture like a child's wrist being or just something that they could hang on to at the end. I anchor it with my can. I take my first bead and all I have to do is thread the beads both directions with the cording. So left to right and then right to left. And then you just take the two pieces and pull it right up. Grab your next bead left to right and right to left and just pull it up and you can see already how these beads will just slide up and down the cord like that and all I do is just keep adding until I've got as many beads as I want you could have five like to make something like a five frame um, I'm making ten I'm gonna be doing some work with a five-year-old so I wanted to have 10 beads on my string. Um, you could certainly do more, like with the one that I made with elastic. I have 20 beads on there. Um, five, 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 and five alternating colors. I don't need to put all these beads on here for you to see this. But after you've got all the beads on, I would go ahead and then add the rest of my beads. Then you'll have something that looks like this. All I did was put a knot at the end, and then the beads just very easily slide back and forth up and down the cord. So that is how you make a counting rope, as told to me by Kim Sutton. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.